and queens and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to talk about how to increase sale as a new business owner so let's get into it okay so a little bit of background of my business so i started my business in september of 2021 i believe um i started out selling unique lashes i was selling like the long and the short ones i believe like it was like the 25 and then like the 23 or 24 and so i was selling that for a good little minute um until like late this year um i just kind of just basically was like this last is not working like i didn't really understand you know marketing our business and things like that so um i actually rebranded um that's when i came up with hwb which is hustling with brie and then i added a uh, skin come out which is oceans natural skincare it was oceans by brie but i'm actually rebranded that as well so sometimes rebranding your business will sometimes bring a lot more traction um to your business and to your website as well all right so the first thing we're going to talk about is email marketing and i'll kind of give y'all the definition so email marketing is basically the act of sending um messages typically to a group of people using an email and a broadcast sense so basically whoever subscribes or is subscribed to your email list that you can market to them however you want if it's every day every other day all day it depends on the type of app that you're using to send out the email okay so um i actually have shopify and shopify has their own apps so i can't remember what app that i do have but as soon as um anyone comes to my website there's like a pop-up bar that comes up and it says you know subscribe to my email list and that you will get 10 percent off your first order that's gonna encourage someone to subscribe to your email list so I know there's I know there's different types of um, email apps on Shopify. I just know that I like the pop up one way better because, like I said, as soon as they come up, it automatically pops up. So you know they just like, oh, well, why not? And and also get a ten percent off. Like why not? Okay, well you're probably wondering, well, how do I get anybody to subscribe to my email list? How do I even get people to come to my website? This is what I personally did. I gave away a free item or a free product. And then that way, when it comes to my website, they can subscribe to my email. It, it worked out perfectly. Like, I had over 100-something people on my website, like, a day. And I kept getting notifications all day that someone, you know, bought this. Even though that it was free, but I didn't mind. I didn't care because now my email list is building. Now I can market to them. So, also with the Shopify um, email app, they also have templates already. So, they, like... I mean, if you want to start off with a blank one, that's fine. I usually start off with a blank one or I already use like their pre-made templates and I'm just adding whatever I want to add in. I would definitely recommend you sending out, I don't know, 10 emails a day. People are going to unsubscribe. That's, that's okay. That's just on them. It happens. Don't get discouraged. Just keep sending out those emails because one day that one person will pull the trigger and buy whatever that they is that they want to buy that you are trying to market to them so the next thing we're going to talk about is search engine optimization your seo or your keywords this is how people are going to find you so there's a couple of things that i want to point out about the keywords or seo okay so for example about the keywords so let's just say you have a business page and um where it says like the name a lot of us you know put our business name or whatever that um we see fit i would definitely change it to what the services you offer or what you sell so for example i sell digital products or don't you digital products so i'm gonna put digital products don't for you digital products so that way when someone searching um, anything about digital products or don't you digital products, my account will pop up. If you type in that and your account does not pop up, that just means that you have to post more consistently so the algorithm can see like, okay, this is what you're offering so they can push it to the right people. Same thing applies to your website as well. When you're adding a product, you should be able to add in keywords for your SEO. If that's even, let's say you sell like skincare and you want to put in dark spots natural ingredients you want to put in those type of keywords you can also go to google trends and type in maybe like a turmeric scrub to see what people are searching for you know that's dark spots you know natural skincare products whatever the case may be so you can implement that so that way if someone is going on google and they're searching for that then your website will pop up if your website is not popping up go back to the drawing board see how your seo is or your keywords and then change that all right so the next thing we're going to talk about is the pictures of your products let me tell y'all something when i first started out my pictures was not giving anything 
So when you're taking pictures of your products, you want to make sure that it's clear, that it's not blurry, and that the background don't look like, you know, you got a big old full trash can in the background. If your pictures are blurry, people really can't see like the logo or the name, anything like that, they're not going to want to even shop. They're just going to scroll right past it. It's not going to look appealing to them. There is like this certain box that has uh, like a little lighting. I can't remember what it's called, but if you can get it from Walmart, it's like a background or backdrop. You can change the color to white, blue, green, you know, to help the background mesh with your products. I definitely recommend that. I, and if I can, I'll put it in my description of what that is called. So for example, I sell skincare products. So how I um, would take my pictures, I would either take it outside, you know, blend it with the nature because it's, um, you know, natural ingredients. Or like I told y'all before, I would use like this little box um, and then it has a, you know, their own light and I would use the backdrop um, as well. But I want to make sure that it looked professional, that my camera was wiped, you know, things like that. That's what you want to make sure of when you're taking pictures of your product. The next thing we're going to get into is website confusion. This is a big, huge one. Sometimes when someone is coming to your website and you're, it's just kind of everywhere, they can't really find anything. They're not going to stay on there. They'll probably stay on there for one second and exit right back out. So when it comes to your website, you want to make sure everything is just organized, has a nice flow to it. So for me, when you come to my website, you know, you can click like these little three little lines and then you can click shop. This has everything that I sell, but in a different, you know, category. So if you want to, you know, book me for your uh, YouTube intro, you can do that. If you want to buy my digital products, you can do that. If you want to um, buy my skincare products, you can do that. It's all in one, you know, area, but it's still organized. That way they can click on it. They can find what they're looking for. But if your website is everywhere, it's not organized. Like I said before, they're not going to shop. They're just going to be confused. All right, so the next thing we'll be discussing is that you are not a engaging enough trust me i was the person that was barely engaging and wondering why that i wasn't getting no sales or people to be acquired about anything so what i want you to do is i want you to engage every single day if not every single day at least make it every other day the more you engage the more people that's going to come to your website going to come to your profile and they're going to know more about you and your brand Okay, so when it comes down to engaging, you want to engage on bigger pages like the Shade Room, the Shade Routine, any celebrities uh, pages or really big pages like with influencers or rappers. In any case, maybe you want to engage on bigger pages. So for example, so when the Shade Room posts I actually have um, on their notifications, that way I can be like the first, I don't know, 50 to 100 people that comment. And then what I'll do, I'll go through and like these people's comments, I'll go to their page, like a couple of their pictures, like their story. This is bringing attention to uh, to your brand. Now, sometimes they may come to your page, sometimes they don't, it's okay. What you wanna do is you just wanna get people to come to your, uh, your profile or your website, that's the goal. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is reels. So let me tell you something, in the very beginning, my reels were trash, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But what I know now with reels, you wanna make sure that you have a hook and a call to action and the reel has to be high quality meaning like the camera gotta be wiped off the lighter has to be good everything has to be good if you want good traction to come from that reel let's get into a little bit of the hooks and the call to action so what i mean by the hooks is basically the text on the um the screen so let's say you say this is your sign to become an influencer or this is your sign to become uh to start a business whatever the case may be you want to really grab their attention People's, you know, attention span is very, 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 very short. So you want to really grab them the first time when they're, um, you know, coming across your reel. Then what you want to have in the um, description or the caption, I guess you um, want to call it, you want to, you know, pinpoint their pain points. You want to like relate to the audience. You want to solve, you know, their problem. And then you want to give them a call to action. And a call to action is basically where you say comment help and i'll send you the link that way this also increases engagement because now people are commenting they're liking it as well and that you're giving them a direct you know way to buy something if you're not giving them a call to action how do you expect anybody to know where to even buy the products or the services that you are trying to sell forgot to mention this one thing about reels so when you when you post your reels you want to automatically add it to your story and then add a link if you know if it's necessary and you want to engage 
be engaged, you know, on the bigger pages, like I said, or, you know, engage with, you know, with your followers, things like that. So this helps, you know, um, push your reel and that way they can see because sometimes they may not see you know as soon as possible like when you post it so i definitely uh, recommend engaging right after you post your reel okay so let's get into the next topic not building trust or relationships so my biggest thing is if you're not really building trust or relationship with your audience how do you expect them to even trust your products or service that you're trying to provide them or sell to them okay, so for me um i've been doing as of lately like good morning polls you know how was your day um what's your you know next week goals what are you struggling with that way you're getting to know that you're, your audience you want to get to know them you want to know what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis so that way you can help them so let's say someone's struggling with marketing whatever product that you um or services that you you know sell you can you know market that to them or someone having trouble with consistency whatever product or service that you have for that you can market that to them either way it goes you want to build these relationships with your customers so you can just really get to know them and who they are all right y'all so the next topic is having promotion and what i mean by that is if you want to have a, a deal or sell you know every friday or every other friday you can do free shipping you can do buy one get one or or you can even ask your audience hey what sale would y'all like buy one get one or whole website 20 percent off that way you can know what your customers want and you can do that and that will help you get more people or sales for people to your website things like that all right y'all so the last thing we're going to talk about and i say the best for last is posting consistently I don't need, I do not know who needs to hear this, but if you haven't posted in about two weeks, how do you expect anyone to even know who you are, what your brand is? How do you expect to make any sales to get any website visit if you're not promoting your own product or services? Okay, here's what I want you to do. I want you to write out a schedule where you can do your content. I don't care if it's on a Monday, a Sunday, a Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't care which day. If you need two days, do it. I want you to be organized and consistent with your posting so that way you can even see success in your business. Okay, if you didn't know, now you know. You can actually schedule your reel. So you can schedule the day and the time um, what you wanted to post. So let's say you work Monday through Friday, but you need to post, you know, during lunchtime or during early in the morning and you just don't have the time to. You can literally schedule it for, I don't know, Wednesday at 12 o'clock p.m. and then everything is already done. The You got your caption, you got the audio, you can save all of that. That way um, it can just schedule on its own. You ain't got to worry about anything, but I will, you know, if you do get some free time, do it gauge after you post your reel okay baddies so that concludes this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it hopefully um y'all didn't get bored y'all didn't go to sleep these things that i had told you guys i have implemented that into my business and i've seen tremendous growth like i make sales each week before i was barely getting any sales sometimes i wouldn't get sales at all a month or maybe won't get one or two sales out the month i was only getting like 10 people on my website it wasn't a lot last month i had a thousand and a hundred and thirteen people on my website and i was so proud i was thanking god i was like this is amazing so if you guys have any questions feel free to put them in the comments below make sure y'all like and subscribe until next time see ya